Okay guys, um, since it's the first week, I want to go uh, over certain things that way you guys understand and then when you get used to uh, looking at assignments, you'll understand how it works. So, uh, Monday, it's today. Monday, I ask you to read everything I posted so far. Uh, tomorrow, we'll start working on one point. So, I posted what you're looking at, uh, at right now. It's called At 101 Drawing Assignment. Um, and it's already posted on canvas so open it up and then you'll see that you're gonna have to read uh, the thing with online classes is that I'm not in the room with you so you gotta make sure that you read exactly everything it's a little tedious at first but then you're gonna save a lot of time you know and of course if you're still confused or there's any problem question you have my office hours virtual when you can call me text me and then you can also uh, email me anytime um, so looking at the PDF I'll open it up you got you will have always a little bit of explanation about the technique we're gonna learn uh, then you will have material objective outcome all this good stuff and then highlighted here you got the actual assignment. So what I'm asking you to do is to reproduce all three examples below. So the first example is the street. You have a tutorial I created for that. Uh, it's just to get used to uh, simple techniques on one point. For some of you guys, you already did it, but remember it's one-on-one, -on -one, so we can't assume that everybody knows it. So we gotta make sure that it's done. So that's the first exercise. Then that's the second one, also a tutorial online. I modified it a little bit instead of having two above the line. I put one above, one on, and one below. So you can do this one or the one that I showed you online. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then finally the room. Uh, I also have a tutorial to create the room. So tomorrow, Tuesday, um, remember the classes, if they were you know, in camp, on campus, would be about two hours and 45 minutes. Uh, you know, more or less. So you gotta have, you wanna spend at least two hours every day working on your drawings. So tomorrow, what you wanna do is this one, that one, and finally the third exercise on one point. That's for Tuesday. Wednesday, if you look at, you go back up, then on a new piece of paper. So the three example you can easily fit if you have the large pad that I ask you to buy, you can, you know, you put it on one piece of paper, you know, that way you save paper and trees. So one on top, one in the center, and one in the bottom. It doesn't have to be really large. However, the last uh, one point exercise, I ask you to um, create a, a room using one point. So it can be a room in your house. Uh, it can be a bedroom. Instead of copying this one, this one is just practice piece you reproduce or create your own bedroom. It can be the living room, it can be any room you want. It can be the kitchen if you want, even though it's a little harder, kitchens are really harder. Uh, so the requirement that can be done on another piece of paper, full size, you know, whatever is comfortable to you. There is no, on this one, there's no real dimensions. It's just what makes you comfortable. Um, so one point perspective, the room will, you will draw must contain at least four large objects, furniture. So these are called requirements. You must have that in your drawing. Why? Because I want you to practice drawing. Uh, windows, picture frames, door rugs do not count as objects, but beds, armchairs, table, desk, dresser, chairs, etc. do count. So to review all that, okay, Tuesday we're working on this one, this one, and finally this one. And then on Wednesday, uh, you're spending the whole session doing the one room. This is this, this right here, okay? So I hope that clears up uh, everything for you. Uh, after Wednesday, we'll move on to two-point perspective, and then I'll talk about that when it's time to talk about it. I don't wanna go, you know, I don't wanna go too far ahead because then it gets confusing. So I'll post that exactly if, if we were in the classroom, meaning, you know, for Monday, you have Monday assignment, Tuesday, Tuesday. I'm not gonna post a block of work because it gets confusing and that's not the way it should work, okay? So remember, all these are practice, no sweat, you know, uh, just do your best and it'll be just fine. Have fun.